All right, YouTube. All right, YouTube. Your boy Slim is back with another cigar for review for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we are going to be, not we, well, me. I'm going to be smoking on the Placia 146 Conseca. It's a really nice looking cigar. I like the band, but I mean, honestly, I think they could have just did with two of them. But either way, it's still nice. I mean, packed foot, no soft spots in it. Nice cap on it there. Looks like a probably a almost like a triple cap. I don't know. But still good looking cigar. Yeah, that's pretty good like hay. Mm, I don't know, some type of sweetness there. But I guess we'll find out more after I uh, go ahead and light it up. I, as I usually say, this is my favorite part of the day. So let's go ahead and get some cut up. I think I'm gonna use my B cut today. I guess it would help if I remove the foot band. All right. That's a tight draw. But, uh, let me see what I got for you here. All right, so this is the Conseca 146, and this is the Musica. It comes in five other other types, but this is the Musica one. It's gonna run you about $11, it's five by 50. And the wrappers, Honduras, the binders, Nicaraguan, the fillers, Nicaraguan. Ooh, excuse me. And factories, Tobacus. Uh, hmm. And that is off Cigar Dojo. Yeah. But other than that, I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my matchsticks. Usually I do this when it's uh, in the afternoon or whatever, and I'm out on the grill because it just makes more sense to go ahead and strike a match when I gotta light my pit anyway. But other than that, I got a long day coming tomorrow. And I figured I'd go ahead, take like an hour to myself before I start having to prepare all these site notes for my visits tomorrow. I don't mind the project driving, but sometimes it can be a little bit crazy. Nice and toasty. All right, well, what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and let this warm up a little bit, uh, situate myself out here, watch a, probably a little bit of basketball, you know, cause uh, I don't get the, get the game on my iPad, but I don't look here. I mean, if the game doesn't get interesting, then I'll go ahead and uh, turn it off. Cause after all, I just wanna enjoy this. All right. I'll give you a minute to warm up and I'll get back at you. All right, I am. <clears throat> All right, I am back. And uh, my initial thoughts off the light up is uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit, so that draw is loosened up. The uh, burn line is kind of wavy. Still no problems right now, but I'll touch it up if I need to. My first impressions are that um, earthy, woody, and uh, either some cocoa or chocolate. But you know, that's pretty much what I got right now. But I'm going to smoke it down a little bit more, get into that first third, and I'll uh, come back at you with my uh, my thoughts on it, or my flavor notes. Uh, 
um, yeah, I think that's right about it right now. So, all right, all right YouTube, I am back, and uh, my initial thoughts on the first third are that um, yeah, the pepper started to pick up some, but it's really smooth and creamy. You know, the uh, the finish not too long, probably like a medium finish, really smooth and creamy. The um, Get like some cocoa coffee notes in there. I guess that's where that sweetness is. But um, as you can see, the band is a little loose. So I'm probably just gonna end up taking that off right now. But um, other than that, you know, it's, uh, it's burning pretty good. The ash hasn't been flaky, but it fell off right after, you know, I turned the camera on, but that happens sometimes. So I'm gonna smoke it down get into that second third and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. All right. All right, YouTube, I'm getting to the end of that second third and my uh, overall impressions are it's getting a little bit woody, earthy. Uh, the black pepper has picked up. Uh, still that sweetness, still that sweetness, still creamy, you know, still really smooth too. And um, let me see. white pepper and uh, probably hay on the retro but I mean overall the uh, burn line it's been wavy throughout but nothing uh, to really complain about not flaky the ash has uh, fallen off in clumps I'm probably about 40 minutes in right now and it's still uh, still burning all, not too slow but um, overall it's still got that long or medium to long finish but really enjoyable right now. So um, as you can see, I went ahead and took that band off. And I mean, it was just like really loose, but not bothering me. Um, but I'm gonna keep on uh, smoking it down, get into that last third, and I'll give you uh, my thoughts on that. All right. All right, YouTube, I'm getting down there to the end of that uh, last third, but um, overall the flavor transitions, the pepper has started to pick up a little bit more that cocoa sweetness or chocolate sweetness that's still there uh, still earthy and woody getting a little bit of um, like mixed berries probably like a blackberry or blueberry but uh, that that sweetness is starting to kick in here at the end but I mean overall it's still been uh, creamy and smooth throughout the draw has been really good I mean it's still wavy you know the ash has fallen off uh, you know pretty much in clumps but um I think I'll go ahead and uh, nub this out. This only been my second cigar of this week because of the weather and my son having baseball practice. So I'll go ahead and nub this out and then I'll get back with my uh, final thoughts on it overall. All right. All right, so I am back to give you my overall thoughts on the Palencia 146 Conseca La Musica. So for the strength, um, I would give it like a medium, medium plus anywhere on there. For me, uh, it slightly ticked up, you know, with the nicotine, but overall I still felt it was a medium to a medium plus cigar. As far as the flavor, transi flavor transitions, um, smooth, creamy, you know, pepper, sweetness from the uh, first third to the second third and to that second third, it started getting woody and earthy but it was still overall real creamy and smooth. Had a like a medium to long finish in there. And then uh, getting into that last third, still creamy and smooth, got into a long finish. But um, overall, you know, I can't complain about that. Uh, the burn, the burn line was wavy. Besides the ash just falling off after that first third, I never had a problem with it. Didn't have to touch it up once. It didn't affect the draw or anything. Although the draw started off tight, you know what I'm saying? After it warmed up, it started, it just started smoking everywhere. So as for the time and the price, it was about $11, I say, for about anywhere from like an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half. That's really good, you know, for a price point. Now, uh, I think that cigar 
it being medium and with the flavor transitions not too much throughout. I think it would pair really good with like some, like a Jameson would got that like scotch bitter hook on it, you know what I'm saying, with some bite in it. But I mean, overall, I, I really can't complain. I would definitely smoke it again. It's a really good cigar, but um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a box. I mean, I've smoked other Palencias and they're a really good brand, but I don't think I would buy a box. I'd probably get like a five pack you know, or just buy like one or two whenever, I, you know, I'm at the local humidor or at the lounge, you know, but other than that, that's been all smoking up Valencia 146 and safe now. All right.